I have made you too small in my eyes Oh Lord, forgive me And I have believed in a lie That you were unable to help me But now, oh Lord, I see Show yourself strong And in my eyes And with my soul Oh Lord, be man Hello and welcome to another Exciting learning experience Of our SBA Terminal Report System I really appreciate your trust and time You have in me In this series of our training in today's lesson, we are going to look at how to create the student registration form. So in our previous lesson, we were able to go through the student details. So today, we will look at how to create the student registration form so that when you click on it, it will just trigger you to enter the student information that will be needed. So without wasting much time, let me dive right into it. So let's see, before uh, we, we will do that, let's format the student details. Let's, let's apply some formatting to what we just created. So let's see, this is what we did in our previous lesson. So I just, I want to change the, the, the back color to make it more professional. So you stand at A1, A2, sorry. Then you drag to the last, that's A, A J2. Then you just hold it here, and you drag it to the last student. Then we are on what, 2, that's 2, 0, 3, okay. Then at, at, uh, at the home tab, you go to the fill color, then you click on it, and you choose the color that you want. Let's see, I think this color is cool. If you don't want it, you can change it. This one too is not bad. Okay, so I'll go for this color. So let's see. If I enter any, okay, it will show. Let me select it again. And then change the font size. Okay. So this time around, I'll go for, say, 14. Then I'll bold it. I'm good to go. So let's see. Yeah, so this one is, is okay now. So the choice of color depends on you. So let's see. Let's move on to our register. So to do that, I need to create a new sheet. So here we have sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, and then I'll add another sheet to it. So that will be sheet 4. Then I'll rename the sheet to your register. Then you can decide to change the color of the sheet. So let me go for this particular color. Okay. So in here, I will select a1 through to let's say z1 then i'll just move it to so let's say 60 so here what i'm, what I'm going to do is for change the color here so i just select a color so any color of your choice 
Okay, then this one is cool. And then what I'm going to do next uh, will be on let's say J. Then I'll just select up to the S then drag it to see uh, okay 28 is okay then this one to I'll give it a different color so this color is cool then I'll stand on H oh, let me I rather okay then I'll just So I'll select up to the kill and then I'll merge and center it. Then write student registration form. Then I'll increase the font size. Let me select it again. Then the font size I'll increase to twenty-eight. Then I'll bold it. So that's for the font. Let me maintain it as it it was. Okay. So what I'm going to do to this particular source, I'll just select the H, then to R, then change the color. And this color is cool. Then the test color to I'll go for white. Done with that, I want to insert a picture on it, so I'll go to insert then pictures. So I'll locate a desktop if I have a picture there. Okay, so this is a folder that I just created. So let's see. Let me go for this and see. Then we click on the picture and then we go to insert. Then you readjust it. I think this picture is okay now. So let me stretch it to this side. So you can download any picture. Or if you are doing it for your school, you can take a picture of your student. Then you put it there. And you'll be good to go. Okay. So this is the picture. And then what I'm going to do, I'll draw a button. So I'll go to insert. And I go to shape. Then I'll choose any shape. Then I'll draw it on it nicely like this. Then I'll go to shape effect. You can decide to leave it as it is, or you can format it the way you want it. Then I'll go to shape effect again and bevel. So 
and this one is okay then what I'm going to do next is to right click on the shape then go to edit test then I'll write what lunch form lunch form Then I'll select it again, then go to the home tab, then I'll center it, then in here I'll select what middle align, then increase the font size. So this one is cool. So what I'm going to do next is to change the color. Then I'll go to format and shape fill. Try the color and see. Then this one is cool. So I'll go for this particular color. Let's see, I want to add another picture to this particular branch form, the button that I created. So I'll go to insert again, then pictures, then locate the folder that I have the pictures in. So let's see, let me go for this. Click on it and go to insert. Then I'll reduce the size. Okay. Then I'll just Select this, then press on the control key, select this one too, then I'll go to format, then I'll group them, click on group, then it becomes what, one, something like this. So with this particular button, I'll create macro to it, so anytime you click on it, then it will trigger the student form for you then you work on it then what am I going to do next I need to create a button when you click on it it will send you to the home page but before then let me hide the other cells so you click on the AA press on the control shift then the right arrow key then you select what hide to hide a source then you do the same to the one and the down so let's see for the 60 so I stand at where it's a 32 or 33 okay then control shift down arrow key then I'll select what hide so now we have this left on that particular sheet so I need another button I don't want to copy the one at the home page so I'll just redraw another one so I'll go to insert then shapes I'll draw it nicely here or you can even decide to go for an image so let's see let's try that one and see if it will work pictures I need a picture for home okay you, you let me see let me use this one and see so I'll click on what insert then reduce the size Can write something on it so let's see go to format then this one I'll bring it forward then 
what I'm going to do is to write something on it, like home. We just select it, right click, edit test, then I'll write what home. Then I'll just go to the home tab, then I'll select what center alignment, then this one to middle align. Then increase the font size. Good. And let me apply some formatting to it. So I go to format and shape effect. I go to preset. I'll select this one. Then I'll change the color. So shape fill. So this color is cool. I'll go to the home again and bold it. And let me reduce the size a little. And then I'll just select the two by right clicking on it. Then I'll go to format. Then select what group. And I'll group them to make them to become one. After that, I need a logo so let's say the school that you are working or you are designing it for you can place their logo on it so let me go and see if I'll get a logo or any logo at all so I'll go to pictures and set any pictures so I'll go to the desktop and see if, if I have a logo there okay let me, let me choose this particular one then I'll click on insert. Then I'll place it in here. Okay. Now I need to link this to the home page. So to do that, I just click on it. Right click. Then I'll select hyperlink then place in this document so where do you want it where do you want to link it to so I select home so I want it to click anytime you click on it it will send, uh, send you back to the home page so I just click on what okay then I'll click on it then by home okay so let's see if we have, we have the register in here so that one to we need to link it to the register so that button we have a student details okay that one has to be linked to this particular sheet so i need to create another button to register the student so let's see if i have it if i don't have it then i have to add another button to it so I just control C to copy, control V to paste. Then let me place it here. Then I'll change the color to shape fill. This. Then I'll just write on it. Register. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to link this to the register. So I'll click on it. Then hyperlink. Then you select place in this document. Then you have the home, the about us, student details, and then register. So I'll just click on what register. Then click on OK. So when you click on this button, it should send you to the register. Like this. Then let me go home. Then I'll link this one to, to the student details. So we click on it. Then we go to hyperlinks. Then I'll select what? Student details. Then click on OK. So the moment you click on this button, it should trigger the student details sheet for you. Like this. Then you click on this. It should send you home. And you'll be 
be good to go. So we are going to create a macro for this last form so that when you click on it, then it will send you to where you are going to enter the student detail, their name, their date of birth, and other stuff. So that will be we will do that in the course of the training. So in our next thing or the next lesson, we are going to look at how to create the report uh, the data entry forms where we will take the students scores and other things so to meet again say goodbye for now